Hello again, Charles here from NGN TV, and today I'm going to show you the final boss fight in Kana Bridge of Spirits. Yeah, it's technically three parts. It's uh, it's quite an insane boss fight, actually. For me, this is probably the most memorable final boss battle in a very long time. Right, as you can see here, you've, this is the first time you fight Corrupted Toshi. Um, he's relatively straightforward. You'll learn his attack patterns quite quickly. Main thing to remember is just simply when there's a purple flash interrupt it with a rot attack or your phase walk even a bomb will do obviously if he's in the air he can either need a bomb or an arrow to the head or what arrow i think an arrow to the head does work but i'd advise a rot arrow simply because it does more damage and has the same effect and knocks him down After you've done that you have to go up the mountain and then you begin what I personally consider as the final two phases. You could argue it's one but you'll see in the way it plays out I'd say it's, it is technically one phase but it feels like two. You then have to fight the corrupted rock god and it starts off pretty standard in terms of you just got to attack his weak spots which are quite clear but you'll see he's got quite a wide range of attacks so you can charge you, you can do a long range ice attack, slams down on the floor, he's got a few tricks up his sleeve. My recommendation again is just slow hours and jump and slow down time like the last one. He does also have a grab that you'll see him build up or swipe his arm backwards and then suddenly go to grab you. You can dodge that but the window is very small. Once you've done that it will go into kind of another phase. You walk back into the spirit realm and you'll have to fight a bunch of enemies. And then once you've beaten those enemies you go forward and you have to fight another bunch of enemies. And um, this is quite tough. I mean all I'll say on this part is it's standard combat but just remember to use all the tools you have at your disposal you don't have no rot so just remember to use your bombs and your arrows take out the aerial beasts first make sure while you're doing them you're paying attention to your surroundings because it's very easy to get mobbed by a long range attack by um the corrupted wooden i think they're called wooden gods because so he can throw his shield at you so just keep an eye out for that and bear in mind you have no healing during this and you have no rot so once you finally finish these two bits, if you survived, you'll get walked back out to the Corrupted Rock God again. This time there will be three flower petals, and if you can build up your meter, you can use those flower petals to heal. And I advise that is really your primary focus before attacking his weak spots again, because you really need to get your health back up, because again, it does not recharge, so that's got to be your focus. Once you've done that, you'll yet again phase out into the spirit realm. This time it's a lot easier, it's just basic platform and you just jump across, jump across, arrow to the flowers, 
until you get to the end effectively. And then there's the final stage. This is the trickier stage. Again, there'll be another set of three new flower petals, different to the three on the last phase. And the main thing to remember here is the enemies only have, actually they have no health, so they're just there to hound you. There's just constant mobs there just to constantly harass you. You gotta make sure you take care of them while watching out for the enemy attacks from the corrupted rock god. Again, all his moveset, plus he has a laser beam which he did have in his previous phase as well. And he has this thing where he charges up. Now this is where you need one watt meter. And you've got to look at the thing sticking out of his back. And try to get it to highlight, which can be incredibly awkward. And then press X to get the rock to pull it out. If you don't, a load of lasers will come down. And then rocks will come down. And as they hit the ground, they'll leave an explosion wave, which you've got to jump over. And there's quite a lot of them. This, this bit here gets very chaotic. It's um, it's very challenging because while you're jumping and dodging nose, you're still getting attacked by the other enemies surrounding you. So you've just got to keep in mind of that. You'll see here generally what I'm doing, the tactic, how I went about it, and it worked quite well. And this was on normal difficulty. And then once you've done that, you get the final cutscene, which I'll leave to play in its whole entirety. And then um, the final meditation spot where you get the absolutely fantastic end cutscene and then the credits. Again, absolutely love this game. I am going to play it again. This is my game of the year. This game is just fantastic. It's everything I want from a game. It's a true piece of art. Enjoy. Sisters trusted in the power of the mountain shrine. Its waters nurtured our village, gave us life, strengthened our connection to the spirit realm. I could not understand why it would betray us. Home was crumbling, and the people looked to me for answers.
watch as life drained from the village. So we should do nothing? You should take action. The creature is connected to the balance of the land. Its presence, the famine, they are part of a natural cycle. The land needs time to heal. We must cross the mountains. It's time to look for a new home. Your faith in the old ways has blinded you. Lead our people, and they will follow you. Zajiro, you have the power to stop this. We should drive it out. Put down the staff, Toshi. I will end this suffering. Are you punishing us? Why? What did we do? Answer me. How many people must die? Why? Tell me. Turn your back on me! Listen to me! told me change was an essential part of life he understood the wrath God's purpose fear drove my actions and I destroyed something beautiful if I had just listened to Zajiro how many could have been saved? I'm sorry, Toshi. We're not meant to suffer such pain. Grief is natural, but it can imprison us, change who we are. Your torment has lasted long enough. 
Nothing will change what happened here. You must forgive yourself so the land can heal. Come, Toshi. Our time here is over. Goodbye, Kena. There is only one spirit left for you to help. Goodbye, little friend. <laughs>